Hey, welcome to Frank's Game Reviews. This is my first episode, so before I start this review, I'll just give you a little hint of what I'm going to be doing. Basically reviewing games. I think you all know that. I don't know, it's going to be a little between console games, board games, anything else that have to do with games. So yeah, this is a... Uh, I got this actually for Christmas. It's called NHL Icebreaker Card Hockey Board Game. Yeah, sounds interesting, doesn't it? Well, that's the thing. I'm a big hockey fan, okay? Just gonna say it. And, I don't know, I haven't... I wasn't really much of a board game fan back then. Which was like two weeks ago. Anyways, so, I see this game and I'm like, well, hockey's really fast-paced, and it's all like, shoot the puck in your face kind of gameplay. And board games, you think slow, boring, long. It's actually short, quick. I actually like it. It's uh, about takes about 30 minutes. One to four players. It just ate it up. Yeah, I was actually playing with my cousin. That was nine. We had no problems. So, instructions. The tiny, tiny board. The box is actually bigger than it has to be. I guess they just put the box big to basically to sell. Because a little rule book. Some of the things in the rule book aren't specified, so I had to go on the internet to find out. And yeah, that's the thing. The pieces doesn't come with any replacement pieces. It actually comes with these little counters. I kind of lost one of them. You use them to count the score. Put them on there. Or the period. But you can basically use anything. Like little, I don't know, anything. Pieces of Lego or whatever. Just put it on there. That little puck. This I don't want to lose because it looks really cool. It has a little NHL logo on there. So yeah, basically about the game. So, as usual, players pick their own teams. And then the thing about, I like about this is that there's no little like icons that tell you your own dude. It's only the puck. And it has a good, really good card system. It's pretty cool. I'll show you a card. Here, for example, you got the Jack of Hearts right here. And uh, this is, says the movement. And right there, it's basically if you make it, if you score something, it's gonna tell you a description. Just say like right here, slips a quick wrist or through the pads or goaltending in perfect position makes a solid chest save. And then there's the or I think, oh, sorry, yellow orangish box, which are these boxes right here. If you land on one of these, then you can activate this power, I guess. And this one says fancy stick work, advance to the shooting zone. That's another thing. Shooting zone, you get in, it's to shoot, so. Anyways, so basically players start off with five cards in their hands. And then for the face-off, they each put their either their best card or a pair of three of a kind. And whoever gets the highest gets the face-off. And then you use the card that you won with, and you use right here the movement. Oh, sorry. Right here, the movement. So it shows you the arrow. Well, sorry, it shows you the direction which to move, and how many spaces you can move. And yeah, pretty much it. Then after what you're done moving, you do for the uh, you do another like face off. It's not a face off. It's basically for possession of puck. And when you get to the other shooting zone, it's basically the same thing. You got your cards, put them down, and yeah, you see if you get a goal or not. Now, the thing that's pretty cool is that everything that you do has something, like, it has a reference to hockey. So, like, basically you cannot, sh like, refill your hand until you're completely empty or stop at your play. Just say you're playing and you run out of cards, you think of it as a line change on the fly. You know, stuff like that. It tells you a bunch of things in the rule book. So yeah, it's actually a really fast-paced game. It has a feel of hockey, actually. That's what I really like. It's really quick, have a nice feel of hockey to it, not too long to play. So, like, when you play this board game, you can't just play one game and then you're done. You have to play a couple games and rematches and stuff, and really fun. If you're a big hockey fan, I'd recommend you buy this just in case you have a rainy day. Let's say your Xbox doesn't work, a power outage, and a couple candles, and still have fun with hockey. There you go, NHL Icebreaker. That has been my review. By the way, I'd give this out of five stars. A good four stars. Yeah. Sorry, this has been my first review. And my next review will be 
probably another board game. All right.